Hello and thank you for joining us. My name is Ben Sheen, I'm a Managing Editor here at Stratfor, and I'm joined today by Mark Fleming-Williams, Europe and Economy Analyst, and we'll be talking about the latest developments in the Greek crisis. Now Mark, it seems at the moment you blink and there's another development in the actual Greek crisis, and today we've seen the ECB actually extending the limits of their liquidity assistance to Greece to the tune of 900 million euros. What does this actually mean for Greece itself? Well, it's a bit of a respite for the Greek banks. Um, they obviously are running on empty at the moment. Um, Greek people are allowed to take out 60 euros a day, but the Greek banks are running out of cash. So essentially this, this 900 million euros just extends the ability to carry on doing that. It's interesting because from the ECB's perspective, the ECB's really got to be careful not to look political. You've got to remember that the ECB is every country in the, in the Eurozone's central bank. And what we've seen over the last month particularly was the ECB ratcheting up the pressure on Greek banks. And it seemed very much linked to every time the Greeks did something wrong or there's something that the, the, the creditors didn't like, the ECB ratcheted up that pressure. So what we saw today was um, the Greeks obviously voted in Parliament yesterday um, to pass auster austerity measures. Um, and then the ECB comes out this morning and actually raises straight away a, a small amount, the uh, liquidity assistance. It does look like, it does look quite political and it looks very much like they're kind of they're, they're, they're training the Greeks and they're, they're kind of they're saying you did a small good thing. You get a small bit of money um, now. Keep going. But it's been costly for Syriza, hasn't it? Because it's been an unpopular thing to pass. And actually, they lost people within their own party. I mean, there was dissent from within the actual party itself. And ironically, the opposition were for the austerity measures. So Syriza seems conflicted at the moment. Syriza's in a funny position. Um, they negotiated this uh, these terms over the weekend. Um, and then they turned up in, in Parliament yesterday and basically said uh, that the terms were terrible. So you ended up with the opposition supporting the, the, the measures and most of the rebels actually came from Syriza within itself. Syriza is in a difficult position because the people voted Syriza in in January um, on off the back of promises to try and get better terms, essentially. And, and what we've seen is that Syriza spent six months negotiating like crazy and has come back with worse terms. So the question is how long the, the population can put up with this state of affairs. What that comes down to then, so looking forward, is uh, whether or not Syriza can, can stay together. The one thing to bear in mind is that the public also just doesn't have anyone else to vote for. There isn't a, Syriza was the protest vote, it was the radicals. And if you look to the opposition right now, they all sit to the right of Syriza. So from the public's perspective, they may be frustrated with Syriza, but at the same time, there aren't any clear alternatives. The thing to watch for, though, is these rebels, this faction based around the left platform within Syriza, who have still got that radical edge, who have been willing to go against the agreement from within the government. And the question is whether perhaps uh, if we get a reshuffle after this, after this, uh, these latest developments, perhaps these left platform rebels end up outside the government and they start looking like, a, like a, the beginnings of a new party, which keeps to all those values that Syriza got elected on in the first place and perhaps are less tainted by what we've seen recently. If that happens, then that starts to really affect potentially the, the course of, the, of these, these bailout negotiations and these, these little um, progress, progressions that are, that are currently happening. That will take a little while if it is to happen. So at the moment, I would say we look pretty much on course. Well, we'll keep watching to see how long Cyprus can maintain its popularity while there is that very slender lifeline for the Greek banks. Absolutely. Mark, thank you so much for sharing this with me today. For more details on the Greek crisis as it emerges, please continue to read stratfor.com.